Last Sam and Legends. Um, I was sitting on the toilet just a while ago, and I was, that's where actually most of the thinking happens in the Tri-Gate Space Program. And I was, con I was wondering, how, where do I go from here? I have my rocket, but I wanted to build a payload bay. Now I'm thinking, maybe I 3D print that, but that's quite a bit of extra weight. This stuff's heavy, and frankly, 3D prints, they're cool, but they're not that durable. So I, want, so I wondered, where can I get durable, lightweight tubing that would fit this size? And then, I really thought about it, and then I realized, this thing, it's what a coincidence, right? So, I think I'm gonna use um, cardboard from this guy. I might cut from here, I don't know. And I, but then I thought, oh, well, I don't have a good, you know, whatever, c connector. I'll just put it to the side angle and disregard the other rocket bits. I don't really have a good thing to uh, connect it to the payload bay. But, you know, remember, it's, it's a packing tube. So, and I'm glad I saved these plastic end caps. This guy's fit on real tight, actually. Which is good. Connect to the payload bay. Um, I'll have to figure it out for connecting it to the rocket. You don't want that to be too tight. But I think a bit of sanding would fix all those problems. Now, this guy, I don't know if that's enough area for a payload bay. It's a real small. Um, let's see how much. It's about like two and a half. Let's see, two. So about 12 base, 12 times two and a half is, I should not, uh, 30. Uh, so 30, and that's actually quite a bit, 30 cubic inches. Dang, no, I did something wrong there, didn't I? There's no way there's 30 cubic inches. Maybe? No, there's no way, right? I must be doing some math wrong, but... The area of the circle is pi r squared, right, though? I mean... Two squared, oh, uh, pi r, r squared. So one, yeah, so 3.14 times two and a half. So, like, it just, it just rounded up 7.5 square inches. Yes, that sounds much, much better. That's not that much, not much room. So I'm thinking I do just cut out, like, let's say, four inches. Off of that, that's not going to take off too much from the body. Maybe even five inches, actually. Yeah, five inches wouldn't be too bad. And that's um, 3.14 times five. That's around 15 square inches. So, so, and that would not really hurt the length of the rocket. And using the pit, probably would always use the payload bay anyways. So, there we have it. Ooh, that's a plan. Alright. Alright. Just a bit. Alright. About to chop it. Give it this saw. Alright, I'll cut. Uh, this guy's cut. Um, looked at it. Center glass, even like this, is not too bad. It's a yeah, I ran right here. That's pretty good. It's the nose cone. Should be moved up. Probably moved it back with the engine. I don't know. But this guy and the payload would help. So this guy should be pretty stable. I just think it's a pretty big fin. You should probably bring the center of pressure back. So, yeah. It's a bit shorter now without the, uh, without the, without the payload, but... You'll add the payload anyways, so it's gonna end up being the same. It's not like, it's not like, well, uh, an extra millimeter higher because of the uh, connector piece. Um, 
modeled this. This should work. It's gonna be a test bulkhead uh, calculator, whatever you call it, between the payload like that. So it's gonna be an alright print three hours. Okay. Here we have it. Does it work? Yeah. It's quite loose though. So, we now I can make it a bit larger. Um, frankly, if it's too big, I can always sand it down. So, I can just increase it to, say, a 16th of a millimeter, um, which is. Focus. Well, each one of these is 16 mm, so that's really not a lot. Um, and I did screw up the design a little bit. I guess I did not. I wasn't able. I didn't um, do this width that well. So this part is too wide. And that's on me. So all in all, does it go? Yes, could it be better? Yes. And um, I think that's a problem with the body tube right here. You see, I think I gotta sand it more even, sand it more level. But there we go. Um, it's not bad, but yeah, I will widen it a bit, fix this issue. And till then, don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, yeah. Two and a half uh, failed attempts. This way. Um, finally got in it. Uh, the toes are This guy comes out hard, and I can probably thicken. This with some wood glue. <laughs> Make it even harder for the I think this is very light like, sanding. Um, but overall, it works. Hello, <laughs> very bulkhead. Now we're gonna work on the nose cone, and then would be, um, I think, what else? Recovery. Which should be simple enough, and uh, the uh, you know, needs a bit of sanding to be a bit more even, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can probably flatten that out a bit, but uh, just a bit of the quality of life, if you will, improvements, uh, and also recovery, and um, adding the uh, launch lugs. Then we have the whole thing built. We just got to launch. The paint and then launch. So we're getting real close. Nothing out. And so the heavy four. Not the Remember that. It started going down. Remember that. Put this hard out good. The same wish dimension as the bulkhead. You know, I can do some adjustments by putting wood glue here and sanding it down. So um, it's all good. Look at that. Uh, messy parts are just parts. Uh, I'm gonna make sure not to cover up the mic like I did last time. Like a little ding dong. That's why last clip the audio sucked. Oh, it's going to suck balls. But so we got the nose cone all printed and done. Um, I've used some wood glue to adjust tightness here. Let's set this guy here and I'll show you some parts to it. This you guys hear that well? Okay. Well, let's see. Alright. Oh god. Okay, hold on. That's not supposed to happen. It's tight today. Um Okay. This so let's I'm gonna maybe light lighten this up a tiny bit more. But we want this to come out relatively easily. It's not that light though. Uh, then we have the uh bulkhead here. I want that to be as tight as possible. Um because you don't want that to come out, you know, just by itself. You don't want when this ejects the shock cord to keep this on and this one launches off into 
God knows where. Um, this one's relatively tight, not like obscenely tight. Uh, what I'm gonna do next, uh, I might you know, just adjust the tightnesses a little bit more, but I'm gonna put in a pressure hole somewhere here, and definitely here, especially here, because see what happens. When, I mean, these are airtight pretty much, so what happens is it pushes out when you put it in, and you have this compressed air, and that's not great. Um, Especially with uh, the higher altitude that this guy's gonna hit. So, there we go. Yeah, that guy needs to be loosened up a little bit. And uh, disregard, disregard that guy. That one's, then that one is small. I you guys would watch as I drill holes in my rocket. So, um, I'm actually using hand to drill. I don't. It's, so it can be a bit more controlled. We're gonna use a 564th an inch, I think that's what it is. Um, it's actually a 3D printed tool right here. It's like a pump drill. It's kind of cool. I'll show you see how it works. Just load. Put in a drill bit in here. Um, probably could you printed a larger, well, oh, this is a pretty small size one, but I have fit a bit of this size in before, and then you just screw this guy on here, and I'll demonstrate for you guys what works. I can't see it now, okay, it's kind of loud. And just load it on a vice. Yeah, there you have. Oh, um, we'll have to probably use like an exacto. Just to fix up the inside, because that's not the best thing to turn that light off. It's a bit too glaring. Yeah, it's better than you guys. Um, so, yeah. Maybe I could use a larger, the three thirty seconds of an inch. Uh, yeah, I might do that. 664. I yeah. If you want to go. So we have we're gonna have two pressure holes on our rocket. And those what they do is they prevent the air pressure from getting Two different. I don't think this guy will go high enough that it will matter too much, but we're doing this just for safety. And let me just test this size. Oopsies. Yeah, be careful there. Don't let that happen. Let's go in a couple of extra times like that just to smoothen out the rip. Okay. Um. And yeah, then we can just make it prettier. Let's be going. Um, that's pretty tight. I'll have to sand that too. Okay. So first this guy. A bit more. And this will actually, I'm gonna, it's gonna be pretty helpful too while uh, I'm working on this guy. This guy kind of gets pressurized easily. I close this. So, still has some trouble, but but it helps, I guess. So yeah, little pressure hole there. Should I make one on the other side? I mean. 
I guess. I guess I'm just gonna eye it this time, I think. I don't really care how. Exact the look. There we go. There we have it. Two pressure holes. And then we'll just do the same. On this guy. And why don't I line it up with this? And I have the launch lights. It's going to be tightened a bit more because. So that's just all it is. It's just to, uh, <coughs> you know, reduce pressure differences. Yeah, all that. There you go. It's about time we finish up this super long video. We got this all uh, good and golden. So uh, next up, next video, I'm going to work on. What am I going to work on next? I think I'm trying to finish up some parts to it. Might be a shorter one. I, I don't know. I'll get the motor mount maybe and the uh, launch lights. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going pretty well. Well, anyways, um, be sure to... God, I got, I'm becoming a uh, annoying YouTuber now. I'm saying be sure to like and subscribe another epic YouTube video. Oh, yeah, sorry, that paint on my hands. Yeah. Oh, no.